Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell and welcome to Area of Study 2, the final outcome of the year. So we're nearly there. This, in this outcome, we're going to look at implementing change. Just think back to Area of Study 1. We spoke about businesses reviewing performance and looking to transform the business based on what they've evaluated in the past. Now we look at well, what, how do businesses actually implement particular changes and move forward. So the first point in our study design looks at the importance of leadership during times of change. So just going back to what we learned very early on, leadership is the ability of a manager to influence and motivate individuals to achieve business objectives. So change can be a really difficult process for many stakeholders because what they're doing is moving from the current state and moving towards an unfamiliar state. And that real unfamiliarity makes it really difficult for some key stakeholders. So leadership's really important to help those stakeholders during that transition. Now because of employees or stakeholders being unfamiliar or uncertain about the future, change can cause resistance from stakeholders and employees in particular. So leadership's really important because it can help overcome that resistance if the manager is able to support the stakeholders during the change. So it's a really important uh, aspect of change management in order for the business to successfully implement change. So let's have a look at what a strong leader will do during times of change. There's many different things and here's just a list of a few. So first of all, they'll be able to communicate a clear vision with the stakeholders so that each stakeholder understands, has a full understanding of what the change is and the, also the impact that it's going to have on them, whether that be positive or negative. At least a really strong leader will be really clear on that vision so that everyone knows where they're heading. Now they're also able to listen to employee concerns. As I mentioned before, change can often impact employees in a major way. And so they'll often have some serious concerns and therefore resist the particular change and really good leadership will be able to listen to those concerns and also address them and explain and work their way through them. They're able to resolve conflicts that may arise uh, as change is being implemented. So again, because it's, you know, it can be difficult during times of change and people are doing things that they're not used to, that can cause some conflict and so they're able to address those. They're able to motivate stakeholders on the benefits of the change, so also along with you know, communicating the clear vision. They're really able to get people on board with the benefits of the change and the reason why change is actually happening. They're able to provide support to those that are finding it difficult to, to adapt. That's a really important factor because there will be people or will be stakeholders that are finding the change difficult and a really strong leader will be able to support them during that change to again help, you know, one, provide support but get them back on board towards where the business is heading. They're also able to focus on the needs of the employees as well as the needs of the business. So that's you know, keeping one eye on where the business is heading, but also focus on the needs of the employees and look out for them. And as a result of that, they're able to get employees on the same page and working towards the same goal. And that is really what will make a successful change uh, be implemented. So just to recap, leadership is the process of influencing and motivating individuals to achieve business objectives. Many stakeholders will resist change and therefore um, leadership is a really important aspect of implementing successful change. And so it's important because it helps build momentum towards the successful change, it reduces resistance to change and also gets the stakeholders working towards a common goal, which is really important if a change is going to be implemented successfully. So just be sure that one, you know what a manager sort of does in order to or what a leader does to demonstrate leadership during times of change but this dot point is about the importance of leadership during times of change so be able to express the importance of leadership during those times so for questions activities and more then come on over to teachingbubble.com